One of the most exciting events that happened on Lake Union in its history, I think, is the Alaska Yukon Pacific Exposition, which happened on the campus of the University of Washington from June the 1st through October 16th, 1909. This was a World's Fair that drew people from around the state, the nation, and the world to learn about the Pacific Northwest, about our bounty, and about our important trade connections with the Orient and with uh, Alaska. The Olmsted Brothers of Brookline, Massachusetts designed the AYP grounds, keeping in mind the importance of the beauty of this area as focal points for the fairgrounds. Lake Washington, of course, and Mount Rainier, and also Lake Union, which was a focal point for the plans of the fair. Lake Union was accessed through an area called the Pay Streak Midway, which was maybe the most activated and the most exciting part of the fairgrounds, drawing thousands of children, thousands of adults looking to ride on amusement park rides, looking to go into the performances that were happening there that were dancing girls, that were Alaskan natives demonstrating their crafts, that were Philippine natives demonstrating crafts and different practices from their uh, mountainous area in the Philippines. All all of this leading you down to the esplanade at the foot of the pay streak, which was a very important platform for outdoor viewing uh, here at the AYP. It was from the esplanade that fireworks could be viewed every night over the lake. So I'm walking along what would have been at the AYP, the Esplanade, at the foot of the Pay Streak. And if you stood here on the Esplanade in 1909 and you looked across Lake Union, you would have seen a giant Yule Lake Tacoma sign, the largest electric light sign in the world, according to the boosters who put it there. You like Tacoma, where rail meets sail. Not everyone knew exactly what Tacoma was, of course. Visitors from California were reported to have said, what is that? Uh, you'll like Tacoma. And the, the person who was talking to them said, I, I don't know. I think it might be a breakfast cereal. If you looked in this direction, you would see the arrow plunge. Imagine that building over there being pulled all the way up to the top of it on some kind of a, of a chair and then plunging down into Lake Union and enjoying that refreshing splash. There was also a gondola landing and one of the popular concessions at the fair was going out in gondolas. College boys from around the country apparently came and served as gondoliers and would take you out and you could enjoy the, the, the beautiful placid lake and the shoreline. There were uh, canoe races on Lake Union, uh, competitions between different Northwest Coastal tribes. These were very popular and were uh, described in the newspaper as drawing large crowds. One of the things that happened that was very exciting was a reenactment of the landing of the Mayflower, put on by the New England Society. Pilgrims landed in boats and were brought ashore. Several weeks later, the boat was used again for a more, even more dramatic purpose when the Gaspé incident, which was a sort of precursor to the Boston Tea Party, was reenacted, including its dramatic explosion when uh, casks of gunpowder were ignited and the boat just flew into pieces. Not something we could probably do with environmental regulations today. Another important thing that happened at Lake Union was that there was a federal life-saving station. Every day there were life-saving drills. People would pretend to be drowning and the life-saving service would show the proper way to rescue them. During one or another kind of excited landing on Lake Union, people would actually fall into the lake and actually truly have to be rescued. At one point it was someone wearing a full military uniform and uh, he had to be fished back out again. This is one of my favorite photos of the Esplanade at the foot of the Pay Streak. There's a parade going through, a band followed by someone who's wearing a, almost a royal kind of costume. And of course you see that people are enjoying the restaurants at the foot of the Pay Streak, going to things like the Tokyo Cafe for Japanese rice cakes, which were pretty unique to, to many people at the fair. The Foolish House lunch counter, what would you get there? 
This is just a beautiful picture of how Lake Union and the Esplanade were integrated into the AYP and were just an important place for these fairgoers to gather and enjoy the beauty of the lake and enjoy the AYP. A hundred years after the AYP, there's very little physical evidence of the fair remaining here on the shores of Lake Union. The area that was a pay streak has become the University of Washington Medical Center. The Esplanade is gone, but of course there are other boat docks here on Lake Union. People are not arriving in gondolas anymore, but they are arriving in kayaks, and they're still gathering to rent boats and go out on the water and enjoy Lake Union just as they did a hundred years ago during the AYP.